All right, hey everyone. Hope you guys are enjoying uh, HSR release. It's been super fun so far. Uh, <laughs> feels weird that the game's actually out this time around, but I have a couple of miscellaneous things I want to share. I was going to wait a couple days, uh, but some things are time sensitive, so I figured I would share these as soon as possible. So the first thing I want to talk about is uh, the store. So of course, with a lot of systems in this game, if you've played Genshin, this isn't going to be news to you, but if you're new, um, when you do your pulls, you, there are two types of currency you can get. You can get uh, this Undying Starlight, and then you can get these Undying Embers. You get these when you do your pulls, and you can use them in the monthly shop. The thing about the monthly shop, with how uh, HSR's release is lined up, is that it is it resets on the first of each month, so it actually goes with the month rather than like 30 days from when it starts. So what I'm trying to say is this cycle of the shop off release is only a couple days because we're actually already close to the beginning of May. The big thing about this is I assume by now most people have already done their beginner banner pulls, which is good because you'll have some of these undying embers. So with these undying embers, you're going to want to get these pulls here. Uh, you can get five of each, five of the limited, five of the standard before this store resets because because of the way everything is lined up, uh, this cycle is only going to be a couple days and then it'll reset on the first of next month. The reason I recommend getting these is because everything else here is kind of a trap. Um, nothing is really worth it, except for this, of course, but uh, these Tracks of Destiny are not available until level 40 anyway. But everything else here is available uh, by spending, either by playing the game or spending uh, your Trailblaze power. So these pulls are definitely going to be the best thing you can get out of the store. Um, of course, if you're, if you're a whale, you can go for any of this stuff, but uh, these are definitely the best things you can spend your, your money on, so... That is the first thing. Make sure you get, grab these before the store resets. As of recording this, three and a half days left for that. Going over to the other tab of the monthly store, we have Asta and Arlen right now. Um, because this wasn't a full monthly cycle, I'm actually not sure if these characters are going to change. So if this works at, like the equivalent does not Genshin, then these characters will change when the monthly cycle changes. But since they didn't get a full month, I don't know if they'll just uh, give them another cycle or not, but we'll have to wait and see. So next thing is just a PSA, just news. You don't really have to do anything, but um, they're giving away 10 free pulls for the limited banner on the 30th. So I don't think you have to do anything. You'll just uh, get a free 10 pull in your mailbox. So that's pretty cool. Just like a quick heads up for that. Okay, so moving on to a couple uh, different places where you can get some extra stellar jade. Um, I'm not going to pretend like this is like a lot, but there are a couple different places where uh, you may have missed. So the first thing is the uh, Star Rail daily check-in. Now this is different than this check-in. See, this check-in is just an event um, with the start of the game, but there's an actual uh, daily check-in. It's basically a mirror of the Genshin one, so you get to this daily check-in by just going to Hoyo Lab uh, under Honkai Star Rail and then check-in here, and you can just bookmark this page if you feel like it. So this 60 stellar jade is a, of course, mirror of the Genshin one, but if you go down here, since it's the first time that the check-in is opened, you can get these extra rewards. So you you can get a little bit of extra stellar jade here, a little 100 right there. Just so you know, you just gotta check in, and you'll get the other one. So, boom, that's that. Just a little bit right there. Okay, next thing. Uh, forgive me if there was a question or a exclamation point here. I don't remember, but uh, it's kind of hidden under this tab. If you go to the like social media tab, you can also get a link to check in here too. If you're wondering, but um, there'll be a. Whoa. Stellar Jade bonus right here. You just gotta open one of these social media links Follow and then the you'll get a little bit extra there as well. I think it's like 50, 30, 50, something like that. So you can get around one free pull by doing the extra bonuses from the check-in and then doing this, which is yes. not too bad. Or one small addition that's new is actually you can get uh, pulls from ascending your characters. Every other level, you'll get one of these standard pulls for ascending. And you can do that with every character. So next thing is up in the parlor car. So if you go up to here, there are these companion missions, which are not the story, but they're fully, they like full voice lines and everything, uh, just like side quests. Uh, when you finish each of these, it'll allow that character that's involved in the quest, one of them, to show up on the, uh, up in the trailer card up here. It's like we have Arlen over here. Uh, I'll show a couple on screen because I've already done this, but um, this is not new by the way, just more of like a, a note if you didn't know about it already. Um, once you finish this companion mission, or all of these, uh, the character will show up on the express you can talk to them and then when you finish talking to them you will get some kind of uh, stellar jade reward and the last tucked away thing for stellar jade that you may have missed um i'm not sure if this is in the tutorial for the simulated universe i don't remember dude it's only like 
day three. I've already forgotten if they if they show this to you in the tutorial or not. But um, they have this index for all the blessings for Simulate Universe. And then uh, as you collect them, there are milestone rewards here, just if you were curious about that. So uh, 80 per each milestone, kind of cool. And then that's for each of these seven. So next thing, also related to the Simulate Universe, of course, play at your own pace. If you can, try to get this tracker done because you're going to reset in a couple days. This resets weekly. But if you're really trying to rush, uh, when this tracker resets, you'll be able to get another Herda Bond. And then if you're able to clear World 3 sometime next week, that means as early as sometime next week, once this resets, um, you'll be able to buy your first 5-star light cone for free. Because you'll get 2 for the first time clearing bonus and then 1 from the weekly tracker. So that'll be 8. Um, if that's something you're interested in, just know that you can get one of these light cones as soon as next week. And last thing, this isn't, this isn't secret or anything or crazy. But um, just a reminder that uh, if you're using physical MC a lot, there is a four star relic set in the yellow, your little store, which is really good to get early. I bought this early because it's really only good early, right? Like these are these are my only four star relics I have, as well as the other set from uh, the space station. So may as well get this early because you'll just be buying it to complete the spending later if you don't buy early. So. You can get a cool physical set there. So if you're curious, this uh, physical set is physical damage increase, and then after they attack or is hit, increase their attack by 5% permanently for the rest of the battle, up to 5 times. Not a bad set at all. And then the Musketeer set is also available in the Herda Space Station store. So I grabbed these early, because like I said, it's not uh, it, not nearly as useful later. May as well make use of it early game. Okay, unrelated to like any of the reminders or tips or anything in this video, look at this relic set. This is the Musketeer set that I bought from the Space Station shop. What is this, dude? What is- Why? Why now? Why here? Why not later? This is bullshit, dude. You see this? I have double crit on three out of the four pieces. I guess I'm flexing my plus three relics for the game. Uh, yeah, because we all know how relics is going to go uh, in the future, right? So, yeah. That's all. And honestly, that's about it. I really just wanted to point out the uh, time-sensitive stuff, like the monthly store, it just, just if anyone wasn't aware yet, just to make sure to grab these pulls. Kind of all over the place. Just a bunch of miscellaneous things I would like to uh, note, slash reminders, slash things you may not know about. Um, just because I had that time-sensitive stuff I wanted to share, I figured I would share those tips as well. Nothing super crazy, or pretend like it is, but you can get a couple extra Stellar Jade just by doing some of those things if you haven't already, so... Hope this helps. That's all I got. See ya.